Right, so uh, we have Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and as well rising. Uh, weekly tarot reading uh, for July uh, 20th to 26th, 2020. And in this video, we're going to have a look what they are to face in terms of career and, uh, and relationship. So uh, just give me a second to shuffle the cards. We're going to go right into the career reading. So the first one in terms of career, we do have the Page of Swords and now followed by uh, the Knight of uh, Wands moving next. That is to be the uh, Nine of Pentacles and the last one uh, we do have the Nine of uh, the Nine of Cups. So those uh, those four. Uh, well, suffice to say though, uh, it's with a good intention. So I mean, I can give you that now. Thing is that uh, throughout this uh, particular week, I don't know about your line of work here, but uh, looking at those cards, you are to end up uh, clashing with somebody. Uh, that could be a coworker, you know. That could be a uh, 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 your supervisor or your boss. Because you know what? It's kind of like dealing with uh, the ordinary stuff there and with your task. It, it will come a point at the very start of the week where you are going to pretty much think of a better way of doing things. Okay. Uh, now the thing is that uh, this is not going to be seen in a such a way from, uh, from your boss, supervisor, or generally the person that uh, you are working with. Okay. And uh, that, that is where the problem stands. You will think that that is the only way of doing things. They will think that that is the only way that things should be done. And at some point, the whole situation may reach a stalemate. Now, I think Libra had something similar or Scorpio had something similar. I don't remember which one, but for them, things were moving forward. While for you, we do have a stalemate really uh, for a certain duration of time, not throughout the entire week. Uh, what you are capable to came up with, it's, it's truly brilliant. I can see it in the cards here. That's the Nine of uh, Pentacles is a testament for it. I mean, it's it's just, it, it gives you leap into development, and not just only for you, but for the, ho for the whole business that you're working for, okay? And uh, those that are opposing you in one or another way, they should really listen to your word, to, to your, uh, to your words. Uh, because it all comes to that, that what you are saying, while it is provoked by a original thinking, and, and that's, that's simultaneously the good and the bad thing about it. it. It's an original thought, so nobody came up with it. But because it's original thought, nobody can comprehend on it, okay? So that, that's, uh, that idea of yours, or this suggestion, proposition, or whatever, is going to appear to be the uh, quite of an unexpected help for the business itself that it is moving forward. Now, uh, for what it seems, the execution of it also needs to be very, very precise. I mean, there is no room for a second guessing here. Pretty much you do have one chance on it whatsoever. But nonetheless, for what it seems, at the end of the week, you are going to end up rather satisfied with the results. Now, those results are not going to be the culmination, all right? They, they are not going to be the ultimate results of your deed, but rather something temporary and short-lasting. However, what you can do here, Capricorn, is build on it or improve on it, should I say. And as you do, uh, ever so often, you're going to experience the satisfaction of it, ecstasy at some point, you know, the fullness of life for you getting the job well and done and transforming the short-term success into a, a long-lasting one, okay? Those who are looking for a job, though, um, the idea you have of what kind of a job you want to do or what kind of a project you want to execute and etc., etc., what kind of a business, it's a good idea. It's just it may be not manifestable throughout this week. I mean, you are going to make certain progress over it, but that progress is not going to be enough where you can say, okay, I have done it, right? So I, it does look like for you guys that are trying to establish certain things, the battle continues uh, and carries on in the next week uh, moving forward. But as with those who are uh, having a job and who are in the midst of development, you also are going to have certain results. 
like for example people will look at you as a potential asset like for example your suggestions are going to be considered like for example you know the business establishment finally is gonna seem like it's taking off and so on and so forth but the, yeah the very core of an issue here it is that um, your idea is really good but there is only one way of establishing it and not everybody as a matter of fact anybody else is looking at things from a different angle or is having a different view for the development and that is what is causing your setback so that was your uh, career reading now let's have a look uh, what you are to experience in terms of a uh, relationship So first one, that is going to be the Nine of Wands, uh, followed by uh, the Page of Cups. Moving next, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, and the last one, that is going to be the Knight of Swords. So the first thing of my mind, without a doubt, uh, uh, probably you are going through a rough time right now, more or less, in terms of a relationship. And uh, uh, without a doubt here, you got to you gotta try to preserve it, okay? So pretty much uh, right now thinking of letting go of whatever interest you do have or whatever relationship we do, you do have, it's, it's out of the question uh, for a couple of reasons. Now, one is the Page of Pentacles into the second position and the other is the Queen, uh, the, the Page of Cups, I'm sorry into the second position and the queen of pentacles into the third position these two cards are not just only screaming they're ululating for you to stick where you are and, and and pretty much fight for what you have okay screw the overview screw the future it all comes to what you have now in this very moment and this is everything that matters okay uh, so that being said, you should really fight with tooth and nail for uh, your current person of interest. You should really fight with teeth and nail as well uh, for preserving your current relationship or your current marriage. So the question is, you know, really how you can do so. Well, probably you think that uh, the whole thing is going down um, not because of you. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but according to that reading, you do have uh, quite a very big finger into it as well. Because what the card points is, is that uh, this week uh, you need to contemplate on what you can change with yourself and with your behavior. And those changes need to be con 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 conscious changes, right? Uh, they, they are not going to happen on their own accord. Maybe you are way too rough with, uh, with your husband or a wife. Or maybe well, you are way too passive with them as well. So whatever you do, uh, obviously there is some kind of a lack of, uh, of how can I say, lack of uh, reason to have passion in there or the passion is way too much. It will be strongly individual for each one of you but there is no mistaking it here we do have the nine of wands as a a, a a fulcrum point of the next couple of cards which i already said and that definitely relates to that you gotta change something with yourself with your behavior with how you do things with how you communicate with your partner with how you if you will make love with them and, and something needs to go all right or needs to be changed and that is from your side of the spectrum now probably they have to change something else as well but uh, because we do have it here in this uh, in this reading probably it needs to start from you you have to do the effort so they can see that you are willing to preserve what you have as an interest as a of as a, a relationship so they make the effort as well so ultimately where that whole thing is leading to here, uh, it is uh, a point where a decision needs to be made, okay? Or rather like it is the scale of, is at the end of the day that relationship salvageable or not? Is at the end of the day that interaction salvageable or not, you know? 
for that marriage salvageable or not. And it all comes to what you carry here in your heart, guys, because while the Knights of uh, Swords relates to all logic and all these kind of stuff, I uh, believe it or not, the Knights of Swords, and I'm going to talk about that this um, next week in my uh, tarot class, it's more connected to the emotions than you think, okay? And while the uh, arguments of the Knights of Swords for the decision that they do make seems a logic proof those decisions are always consulted with their emotions so if you are at the end of the day after making those changes after making those attempts you know to save your relationship your marriage you still feel unhappy then you know what you gotta do right but if you feel revitalizing there then you are definitely on the right path and you have to keep on fighting for the, for the savior of your marriage, of your relationship, or of your interest moving forward. Now, those that are completely single, uh, that's uh, the reading here points that they have not tried all of the options available they have around them. Okay, so definitely the, the reading points that uh, you can make create or you do have some kind of an interest that it is residing around you. It is just you are not seeing it or that interests have not made any claims whatsoever uh but uh and the, the the how can i say the reason for it for the most part it is because you are proving yourself to either being uh, self-sufficient meaning that you look like you don't need anybody and you don't want a to have a relationship at all or it is because that interest that has towards you or the person that has interest towards you think or has an impression that you do have interest into something or somebody else and right now you are not up to what they have to offer at all and uh, yeah I mean based on that information you get to choose how you want to to keep up with being single and how much you are willing to open for a, uh, a new possibilities that haven't been a possibilities up until this moment so that being said, Capricorn, this was your weekly uh, general tarot readings uh, for July 20th to 26th. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you liked it and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.